Hello, it's Dr. Pat with Little Critters Veterinary Hospital and we have Remy here, a Congo African Gray. Remy's in for her annual checkup. Last year, her calcium levels were a little bit low, so we're gonna run some blood and check some ionized calcium today. And just a quick tip on African Grays, they tend to need a bit more calcium in their diet than some of the other birds. Very typically with hypocalcemia or low calcium, they can get what's commonly seen as a toe tapping response or tremors, or if it's very severe, we can see seizures. So a balanced diet with good calcium levels is very important in grays in particular. And we often will do things like give them a Tums. Many birds will eat a flavored Tums. That's just calcium carbonate. Remy doesn't like Tums, so she gets a little bit of just a calcium powder over her food. And she is on a balanced diet, so she gets chop and pellets. The owners are doing a great job. And we're very proud of them because as you can see by Remy, we have beautiful feathers with no feather picking, which is always a joy to see. African greys are incredibly intelligent animals and they need a lot of stimulation, both physical and mental stimulation. And oftentimes they don't get enough of that in a captive environment and then it causes them to act out. And these beautiful birds then will start to pull feathers, chew feathers, or mutilate skin. So if we have a parrot, it's very important that you think about their environmental needs. In the wild, these would be with many other birds, be very physically active and searching for food. And so we need to mimic that to the best of our ability in captivity. And so things like foraging and having an active treasure chest where you change out foraging toys every single day, trick training and mental stimulation, all very important. And again, if you have a gray, think about calcium levels and make sure the diet is supplemented appropriately. And that's Remy.